Hey folks, good morning. Good to see you this morning. Hope you're off to a good start today. Uh, so, um, we uh, told you we're working on some internet stuff. I've installed some new routers in, in the house and, and uh, things are looking really good. The speeds are looking good. So if, if, it's, if it stalls or it skips, if you could just leave me a note, then I'm going to try to work the, the last few kinks out. But looks like we're doing good. So happy Tuesday. September the 12th. Good to be with you. Good to see you all. Thanks for joining me on here. Um, and uh, looking forward to, to a new day, a good day. Um, I have my I have my wife at the other end of the table, so if you hear some coughing, it's her. Um, she uh, missed church Sunday because she wasn't feeling well, and so we went to the urgent care, and sure enough, she's got strep throat. So... That's why we're at opposite ends of the table. That's right. I still send my germs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's been on antibiotics for, for a couple of days now, so <laughs> hopefully it's starting to clear up and loosen up and all that good stuff. But um, we're still hoping she gets feeling better soon. But it's good to see you on here. Uh, good to be with you. Uh, let's start with a couple of jokes today. I've got some good ones. I, I already tried a few out. So you ever wonder who Pete is? And why we do things for his sake. <laughs> that was funny to me. I was trying to think of a tree pun, but I got stumped. Ha uh, ha. That one was funny. That was funny. All right. I told a real long one. I'm not going to tell that one. That one is a little... That one is a really long one. It was. It wasn't very funny. It was funny. I'm reading a book on marriage and relationships says to treat your wife like you treated her on the first date. So tonight after dinner, I'm dropping her off at her parents' house. <laughs> That's a funny one right there. Oh, oh gosh, that was funny. <laughs> oh. And I had one more. Where is it? All right, last one. A wise man once told his wife nothing because he's a wise man. <laughs> oh, there we go. Some good jokes for the day. All right. <laughs> Let's jump into the study, the, 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 the devotional this morning. We're going to kind of continue uh, this this talk on faith and and trust and, and and hope. Uh, those three things: faith and <laughs> trust and hope. Um, now, in our in our Sunday mornings, uh, we've we are in a we're going to be starting. We we finished week two of of a study in First Thessalonians uh, about standing firm. What it means to stand firm in our faith, stand firm in our sufferings. Um, and uh, it takes a lot of faith and trust and hope to stand firm in, in today's culture and today's world, all that goes on. But it's, we'd be naive to think that it's sunshine and rainbows for everybody all the time, right? We always face problems. We, always, we all have problems and different problems that, that go through our lives. And as we face those problems, we need to remember that God is always working for us behind the scenes, and sometimes all that's required of us is to stand firm, trust him, and be patient. Now, it's a whole lot easier said than done. It's a whole lot easier said than done. When we're going through issues in life, we need to stand firm, trust him, and be patient. So what do we do? How do we, how do, we do that? How do we build a faith, a trust, uh, during those pauses, during those delays, during those times when life seems to slow down and you can't get any traction to do anything. Well, Scripture tells us this, and this is our passage for today, and it's, it's a little bit longer, so I'm just going to put the reference up there for you. Um, and I'm going to read this passage out of, uh, uh, out of a paraphrase, uh, God's Word paraphrase. So it's, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit different. But the Bible says this, brothers and sisters, be patient until the Lord comes again. See how farmers wait for their precious crops to grow. They wait patiently for fall and spring rains. You too must be patient. Don't give up hope. The Lord will soon be here. 
So what this passage is saying and how we can kind of maybe work it into into our lingo today, because not all of us are farmers. Not all of us have that experience. We don't know what that looks like, what that feels like. But like a farmer, we need to learn to wait, but wait expectantly. So if I were to put it in, in Central Florida terms, theme park capital of the world, right? Uh, in, in Central Florida terms, we're in line, we're waiting, but we know at the end of the line, there's going to be a great reward. There's going to be a fun time. There's going to be an exhilarating experience. Farmers do the same thing. They plant and then they wait, but while they're waiting, they're preparing for the harvest. They're waiting for that experience. They get ready. They don't sit around just thinking, well, I wonder if this thing's going to grow. I, 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 I wonder what's going to come out of the ground. I planted corn and I wonder what's going to come out. See, they don't do that. They expect. They know. They put in the work. They expect their crops to grow. And in fact, during that time, they're preparing for the harvest. They're making sure the equipment is ready to go. They're making sure all the stuff is in its place. They're preparing for the harvest so that when the harvest comes, they get to reap all the benefits. So what we do in the meantime, in those pauses, in those delays, and when life seems to, to slow down and, and those troubles come, we need to learn to stand firm, trust, and expect God to provide. Psalm 130 verse 5 reads this way, I wait expectantly, trusting God to help, for he has promised. See, that promise is all over scripture. In verses like Isaiah 49, 23, no one who waits for my help will be disappointed. That's a good news. That's a good promise. What have you been waiting for God to do? What are some things you've been waiting for God to do? Maybe you'd wait for him to, uh, to transform a, a relationship that's been, that's been uh, uh, in trouble. Maybe you've been waiting for him to help, help you with a financial issue. Or maybe heal from a pain or a hurt. Maybe you're waiting for him to, uh, to, to move in, into a life of a family member who's, who's not yet a believer. I want you to know that whatever you've been waiting on God to do in your life, do you, do you really expect him to do that? Because if we're not preparing yourself while we wait, I don't think we're really expecting anything to happen. Quite often, when we think about waiting on God, God is actually waiting on us. See, you may not be ready to handle the blessing just yet. You may not be mature enough spiritually to, to understand what he's going to be doing. So I want you to, to, to begin working on, if you're in those areas of life, begin working on preparing for what God is going to do when he comes through and blesses. One thing that will help you wait patiently on God is to remember his goodness, his grace, and his mercy. Even when we don't see it, and we, even when we don't feel it, we sing that song, right? He is still moving. He is still working. Even when we can't see what he's doing, even when we think he's slow to react or his timing doesn't match up with ours, God is still at work. So I want to encourage you this morning, take time and be patient. Stand firm in trust and hope. Here's Owie. Spend time in, in God's word. Learn to be more like Jesus. Lean harder into him. And then get busy doing the work that's going to prepare for that harvest when it comes. Get busy doing the work. All right. Well, that's all I got for you today. Hope you're off to a good start. Uh, looks like the internet held firm and strong and true. That's good. All right, guys. Uh, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, you can get us by cell phone. Uh, we'll be in the office for a little bit. Um, uh, cell phone, email, uh, text, Facebook Messenger, all the above. Uh, digital ways are the best ways to contact. And um, we, will, uh, we will get with you real soon. Tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, we're back at it in the office. Uh, and in service, we'll have our adult Bible study. Um, uh, we'll have uh, youth activities. We'll have children's activities. So lots of stuff going on. Come on out and be a part. And looking forward to seeing what God's going to continue to do through his people. All right, guys. Love you all. Appreciate you. Hope you're off to a good start today. Don't hesitate to... Uh, uh, to uh, reach out if you need anything. And remember, if you have an opportunity today, which I'm pretty sure you will, take that opportunity to be a blessing because he's always a blessing to us. Amen? We'll see you again. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.